Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be another holiday makeup look and this video is in collaboration with Sephora. So I'm very excited to be working with Sephora. All the products I have on my face right now are from Sephora. And yeah, this is the perfect holiday party look with a classic red lip. So I love how it turned out and I did use a few new products. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to get this look, then just keep watching. So first to prime my skin, I'm going to be using the Milk Blur Stick. And I'm really just focusing this on areas that I have pores. So like my cheeks and my nose area. And this makes everything really smooth. Then I also like to take my Bobbi Brown Primer Plus 3-in-1 Hydrating Spray. And I use that kind of like all over. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is not new to me, but it's a relatively new foundation and I am obsessed with this. This is one of my favorite foundations to use. So I'm in the shade Warm Olive. I'm just going to squirt some directly on my face. And it is a little bit watery, so don't let it drip on your white sweater. <laughs> um, but I just love how this feels on my skin. Then I'm going to be trying out the Power Play Concealer from Cover FX. A lot of people have been raving about this, so I wanted to pick it up and see for myself. I am going to be using the shade Medium 2, or G Medium 2, and we'll see how it goes. Are you guys more of like a Sephora online shopper or like in-store? Because... Where I live, we only have the one inside JCPenney, so we don't have like as big of a selection. So I'm like always on Sephora.com ordering, but I don't know if I would go into the store more if I lived near one. I'm not really sure. So then I'm just going to blend that out. This is like a really lightweight consistency which I like. I'm not a huge fan of thick concealers. Like I feel like they just feel heavy and this actually does not feel heavy at all. So, so far I really do like this. I just love the consistency. I feel like it looks like skin. Like it doesn't look like I have a ton of concealer under my eyes which I'm not really into that. I don't really like a super bright under eye. That's why I chose G medium too, but I think that is a good match for what I'm looking for. Then for my powder today, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Veil. This is a really good setting powder, so I wanted to use this today because I haven't used it in a while. And I'm kind of going to bake under the eyes because we're going to do some glittery shadows, I think. And I'm just going to take a little bit and set the rest. So we'll come back to the face in a little bit, but now I'm going to move on to shadows. And for that, I'm going to be trying the new Pretty Rich palette from Too Faced. So this looks gorgeous. I love the packaging and um, all the colors look so pretty and definitely holiday season appropriate. So I don't even know what I want to do. Like, I don't even know. First, I'm going to go in with the shade. It's Cashmere. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Fancy That, which is a little bit more of a cool tone brown. And just same thing, pop that in the crease. Then I'm going to go in with Ooh, That's Rich, or Oh, That's Rich, Ooh, Oh, Ah. And I'm going to put that just in the outer portion. Now whatever's left on the brush, I'm just kind of kind of like drag that in like my upper crease. 
just a little bit. And I'm just going back in with that cool brown, fancy that, and just kind of blending the edges. Then for under the brow, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's kind of like a creamy white called It's Designer. Put that right underneath. And then kind of blend it downward a little bit. Then I'm going in with the shade Clutcher Pearls, which is obviously like this pearly white. And I'm just putting that right underneath the arch of my brow. So I don't know which glitter I want to use because they're all so pretty, but I'm thinking of this Diamonds for Breakfast one, which is right here. It's like a silvery glitter. It has like some multicolor reflex in there too. So I'm going to try to apply this with a brush and see how it goes, but I'm not sure if it's going to... All right, let's just use my finger. I think the finger applies better. Like look at how much that just applied. Ooh. Yeah, definitely just use your finger. That is so pretty. And way easier than using like a loose glitter for sure. I'm just gonna go and lightly blend right above that. It's actually really pretty. I'm so proud of myself for doing that. Um, I don't think I wanna do winged liner just because it's just so much energy. Maybe just a line. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tartist Double Take Liner. So I'm gonna use the liquid end and I'm just going to align my upper lash line. No, I'm not even gonna test it. I was thinking about it, but no, I'm not, I'm not gonna put myself through that. No way today, we are not flying high. Then I'm gonna apply my lashes. I'm gonna be using these ones from Huda Beauty. They are the style Noel, which I thought was appropriate because, you know, Noel, Christmas, you get it, you get it. Those are not the kind of lashes I normally go for, but I'm kind of obsessed. So then for the lower lash, I'm going to be taking Fancy That and, ooh, that's rich. And just smudging both of those on the lower lash. Then I'm going to swipe that away. Then I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. This is a newer mascara that I love. Next, going back to the face, I am going to bronze using the Laura Mercier Baked Matte Radiance Powder in bronze number four. Then for my cheeks, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic Climax Blush. I am so glad that Sephora now carries Charlotte Tilbury products because I'm obsessed. And this is more of like a neutral tone blush, so it's not going to, you know, take away from the sparkly eye. But then I just wanted to make the cheeks look a little bit dewier, so I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. And I'm just putting some like on the back of my hand first. And then I'm just going to dab it on with my finger and hope for the best. <laughs> oh yeah, that is pretty. Just gonna take 
my beauty blender and just kind of dab over it so it blends in but that is so pretty I almost forgot I wanted to put some inner corner highlight I'm gonna take some of Becca opal and put that on my inner corner just because it's sitting in front of me and you could use this to highlight your face, obviously, also. And then lastly for the lip, I am going to do a red lip. But I wanted to try out this new Cushy Vibe Lip Stain. This is from the brand Kaja, which I think is like a newer brand at Sephora. And this is in the color Satin Sheets. It's more of like a cherry red versus like a fire engine red, which I like on me. Okay, so now that my lips are ginormously red, I'm obsessed though. I just love a blue toned red. That is like the secret to making your teeth look super white. Because if you use a yellow based red, then your teeth are going to look like yellow. Once again, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Primer Plus 3-in-1 spray. That is very cute. Look at that. Should we just leave it like this? This is like, there's something about Mary, but nah. I am super obsessed with how this turned out though. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Sephora for all the products used. And I will see you guys in my next video.